I mentioned Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, uh, big game of the Packers coming up tomorrow night. They host the Eagles. We know that the Packers, they have uh, one of the top two defenses right now in the NFL. Here's Aaron Rodgers on his role. Yeah, we've played some good defenses, no doubt about it. But the standard and the expectations are very high here, and, and we haven't met them on offense. Thankfully, our defense has not only been opportunistic but stout. Uh, it's, our, it's, it's time for us to do our part on offense moving forward. We're going to play some, you know, a stretch of, of uh, really good football teams. And at some point, you know, we can't expect our defense to shut everybody down. They have been. But at some point, the offense is going to have to wake up and, uh, and start making some plays. All right. How much of this is on Aaron Rodgers? Because we look at the weapons. he It always feels like he can make somebody better than what they are. He's really good at doing that. Brady is really good at doing that. There's certain quarterbacks who make somebody better than what they actually are. And Aaron Rodgers, I think, down through his career, we've always thought he's going to make somebody better. Has he made that wide receiving core better? Do they have a running back who makes you nervous? How many plays are we expecting Aaron Rodgers to make? I don't know. It it, it feels like we're still waiting for him to be the best quarterback in the NFL. I know that he's labeled that. He's always labeled that. He's not the best quarterback in the NFL right now. You know, that's Patrick Mahomes. But Aaron Rodgers, you know that ha he has that ability, that capability, and a big game performance from him. I'm not sure what is mis what he would say is missing. You know, his role, do you have that that go-to guy. Do you have that guy that you go, I can always count on him. And it fe feels like he's always had that wide receiver. You know, they've had running back by committee for a while, but do they have a, is it capable of being a potent offense is probably what I'm looking at. Yeah, McLevin. But it feels like Packers fans are complaining about 3-0 and and maybe I know. And their favorites 4-0. and Do you think they would be happy if they would just redefine themselves as a defense first team and Aaron Rodgers was more of a game manager? If they win, what's the difference? I don't know how good – I love the secondary with the Packers. And, you know, they made some smart acquisitions here. But do you get the feeling that Rodgers, they haven't I, – I thought that this would be – we'd look back and say, did Green Bay's front office do enough to supplement talent for Aaron Rodgers? You know, like Dan Marino, you wonder, is it a career lost or what could have been a more fruitful career if you put the right pieces in place there? But they've they draft defense every year. Yes. So it, and it's working, in a sense. Okay, but then we can't complain about the offense if you're not giving him any weapons there, can you? If you shut down the other team, it doesn't matter. It's it all work out. I know, but people are complaining that they're worried about the offense because they're so used to seeing Rodgers be great. People aren't showing up to see a defense be great, unless you're the Ravens in 2000 or the you know 85 Bears. You turn. You, everybody wants to see offense now. Yeah, Paul. And, and it, in comparison, in different points of Tom Brady's career, they've given him Randy Moss. They've given him Corey Dillon. They've given him high-end offensive weapons to take the burden off him. It doesn't seem like they do that there in Green Bay. Well, that, Ooh, they've also got the other end where they've just gutted the offense and had undrafted players at every single position. I mean, you could argue Tom's had the worst wide receiving core. He's put like three, five, nine guys out there before. They get they flip flop. Sometimes they'll just yeah. It's a mismatch. The offense. I, I'm, yeah. What I'm saying though, it doesn't seem like the Packers have gone out and said, "Let's do a first round running back like Sony Michelle and say, let's give a high end running back instead of a couple third rounders, Aaron Jones and those guys." For more Dan Patrick Show, tune into Audience Channel 239 on Directv, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.